Hi folks, I'm going to describe the sawmill that I built based on plans that I found originally on YouTube. There's a fellow named Texas Ben and he has these plans for sale that are the most detailed plans I've ever seen. Probably a couple hundred pages of um, descriptions, uh, diagrams, uh, material lists. And there's also uh, 3D PDFs that allow you to manipulate the uh, different parts so you can see how they're put together. Essentially, you follow the plans and you build the parts as outlined. And when you assemble these parts together, the sawmill will come together and work exactly as described. There are a couple parts in the plans that require a metal lathe. So if you have one at home, you're in good shape, and if not, then a uh, person can contact the local machine shop to make those parts. Here's my track for the sawmill. The metal that I acquired was 20 feet long, so uh, with the travel of the saw, I can actually cut 16-foot logs. In hindsight, I wish I actually had a track that was longer than 16 feet. It would be an easy process to actually extend the track to whatever length that you need uh, as long as you had a good stable base. What's unique about the saw is it uses twin Acme rods that are driven by a winch and the two rods are in sync with one another with a chain. So there's, it makes the saw very rigid. So essentially it's got no uh, give from going up or going down. The saw is powered by a 420cc four-stroke motor. That's essentially 15 horse. It has a centrifugal clutch. So when the engine's at idle, the saw blade doesn't turn. been milling up some white poplar and I've also been milling up some white spruce. We live in a quarter that's completely forested and having access to uh, lumber uh, allows me to build all kinds of neat projects and uh, you don't really worry about the cost. Thanks so much for watching. If you like, please subscribe.